Jay Siertier almost missed out on his dream. With a string of injuries, his rugby career almost ended before it began. I had a tough run of the Chiefs in 2016-17. I tore a ligament in my elbow and I fractured uh, my ankle. But I was lucky enough to make my debut against the British and Irish Lions. Probably the highlight of my rugby career so far. Um, playing in front of a packed out Waikato Stadium was just unbelievable. I probably was just a little bit too young and immature. Um, I had guys like Aaron Creed and uh, Stephen Donald and I was just starstruck. It was like an absolute pleasure to be able to go out there and train with them. I wasn't hungry to get out at a rugby field. With his contract coming to an end and with his career in the balance, Chase received a phone call. Chris Boyd called me up while I was over there and asked if I wanted to do a pre-season block at the Hurricanes and because I had nothing else. I was like, yeah, sure. Funny enough, the Chiefs called a week later and asked for the same thing, but I was really committed to the Hurricanes. Moving to Wellington wouldn't be the only time Tia Tia would change his plans, as the connection with the Bay of Plenty coach Clayton McMillan started to grow. I met Clayton, he was my Wellington under-19s coach. First year of that Jock Hobbs Memorial competition, and we ended up taking it out. Yeah, young... Bravado, you know, full of confidence, uh, young man, and just, you know, showed a whole bundle of talent and energy, all the stuff that you see now. After a poor 2020 season and a Gatlin exit, an opportunity opened up at the Chiefs. And I um, found out that Clayton got the head job. I was really excited for him. And then when he sort of was asking a little bit of questions, I was like, yeah, I'll, I, I want to come, I want to I play for them. So I sort of went out of my way to try and make that happen. He has the ability to sort of create something out of nothing. He brings a lot of energy, not only to his personal game, but you know, to the environment. Uh, and he's just a great finisher. You know, he's got a nose for the try line. When other people are, are likely to you know, get conservative, he's probably more likely to um, do something out of the box, which can often and has been um, the point of difference uh, for the teams that he's played with at times. Finally, the drought is over.